Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today on Classic Mini DIY. So today we're going to be putting the piston rings on our pistons. Um, I'm in the middle of an engine rebuild and uh, today I need to get these piston rings installed on my freshly cleaned and, uh, uh, well, freshly cleaned pistons. Um, so this process is uh, pretty straightforward, e easy to do. Um, but um, it's important that you follow a few steps in terms of getting these in the right order, uh, making sure they're facing the correct direction, and uh, that you're just safe and you don't damage your piston when you put it on. So first thing is, um, normally your piston rings, when you purchase them, will come in a package. And that package is going to have... <clears throat> It should have details about which piston ring goes on the bottom, um, in the middle, and then on the top. Um, in my case, uh, it, it came with a piston ring that has, let's see if we can get this in the video, a nice coiled ring in the center of it here, and then a retaining ring on the outside. And this retaining ring holds in, basically this is your oil uh, seal, and it goes around the bottom of your piston. Um, you might have a different style. There's some with like wavy things that have multiple rings for just that bottom bottom ring here. Um, there are tons and tons of different kinds of piston rings out there. So the way that I normally like to do this, uh, so we'll start on this, this oil ring here. I take this little uh, coiled ring out first. Um, I prefer to put this in first. Some people don't, but uh, it's, uh, I just find it to be a little bit easier. And now if I can get that in the video there, there's a small uh, piece of metal in, inside the coil, and you can pull this apart, and that holds it kind of true in the circular form. Um, and I just expand that out, and I put that around my piston here, and then tighten it into the bottom ring there. Um, and so you'll see it's loose, which is fine. That's normal for these rings. Um, they can come out a little bit, but you just want to make sure that that's as tight as it can be in there. Um, and then the next step is to find where that, uh, where that little metal piece was and bring the coil back together and just make note of where that is. Um, the next step is you're going to bring this ring this is the oil ret pressure retaining ring. Um, these can come apart a bit like this, and that's how you get the rings on. There are two ways to get these piston rings on. You can either do it by hand, which is how I normally do it. Um, there is also a piston ring tool, um, and what it does is it hooks onto these two ends here, and it uniformly spreads it apart um, to make it easier to pull around the piston. Um, in my case, I just do it by hand. You just got to be really careful if you do do it by hand. Um, these edges really like to, to scrape and, and cut into the sides of your piston and you don't want that to happen. If you get scratches on the sides of the piston, it can cause a, losing comp a loss in compression or um, oil getting passed and into your combustion chamber, which is not ideal. So to get this ring on, what you're going to want to do, find your gap here and then find where the coiled ring came back together. You don't want those to line up, you want them to be apart. So mine's over on the back side where my thumb is right now. And I'm just gonna slightly pull this apart here and take extra care not to let it cut the sides of your piston and work it down to the bottom ring. And so once you have that on the bottom ring, you just wanna make sure that it sits around the retaining ring like it should, and mine does, and you'll see it's also loose in there. That's totally normal. And that's it for the bottom oil pressure ring. And after that, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you take your remaining piston rings and you repeat the process. Um, some of them, like this middle ring, came uh, and it actually has the word top right there. You probably can't see it in the in the video. It's a uh, really tiny. And then there's a small lip on this ring as well. This ring has a specific way that it needs to go on. So just follow that top set uh, setting and go ahead and bring that ring down. Same way you did with your oil pressure ring. And real careful not to cut up the sides of your piston. And 
And there we have it. That rings in. And that one's the same way. It's also going to be really loose. And all of these are uh, until you put your compression tool around it when you're actually putting the piston back into the motor. Um, and then this last ring has no details about which side is on, uh, on top. Um, it's a perfectly flat ring. Um, so this one is just going to go right on the, in the last, uh, last ridge on our piston. And there you have it. So all your piston rings are now on. Um, all of them should sit pretty loose, but they shouldn't like come off easily, anything like that. Great, so now you have these piston rings on here. Um, the next step is to take a look and see where these gaps are. Um, so there's a lot of different schools of thought, a lot of different opinions, just like everything on your car, um, about which way these rings should sit, um, whether they should each each gap should be you know 120 degrees from each other, 45 degrees from each other. There's a ton of different ideas about the way it should be. The main thing is that they don't line up, but what you do want to make sure that you do is you look and see if you can find a spec for your car and follow the settings that they outline in that spec. Um, you don't want to end up with, you know, these rings misaligned and then you end up with a loss of compression, you know, you start burning oil. You know, there's a lot of different situations that you can run into, but primarily you just want to make sure that you follow the spec that's set for your car. Worst case scenario, if you can't find any spec on your piston rings, um, which way that they should be sitting, which, uh, how far apart, I set mine perfectly across from each other. So you'll see, hopefully in this video here, on this side you have a gap, and then on this side you have a gap, and then for the oil pressure ring, I set that one in between those two on the side. Um, you'll want to check these when you put your compression tool around this when you're putting the, the pistons back into your engine um, because they do like to shift around just when you're picking it up and putting it back down and everything. Um, but basically, gap here, gap on this side, and then gap on this side here. Um, and that keeps them from lining up and you know ending up in a situation where you have you know a perfect line. Um, also, for the oil compression ring, I like to have it aligned away from this opening here on the side of your piston um, just to avoid any sort of oil getting past this and then into this you know there's there's uh, always that off chance that that can get up into your piston I just like to go with the safest route and keep that as far away from um, that opening as possible so that's pretty much it for installing your piston rings it's a pretty straightforward job um, I will be doing a video here shortly on how to actually install the pistons in your car um, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment sections below. Um, and as always, enjoy that mini and uh, keep motoring on.